All right, guys, welcome back to the development of the prison server that I'm building. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to everybody who watched the first video. And uh, here we are back on the second. After reviewing the first video, I thought that it was all a bit cluttered and didn't really have a, a main storyline. It was kind of just what I was developing day after day. So for this episode, I'm just going to focus on one specific thing, try and complete the whole thing as soon as I can. And so the thing I'm going to be focusing on today is the in-game menu. When players spawn in, they'll have an item in their inventory, most likely the nether star, and they'll be able to right click on it. And that will open up a menu. And in that menu, it'll look something like this. There'll be a character menu, a teleporter menu, a general help guide, and a shop. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up the command that runs when you right click on the nether star that will open up a menu that looks like this and then you'll be able to click on either one of these things and that'll go to another menu from there you'll be able to return back or you'll be able to use one of the options so i put on screen a list of every single thing that i'm going to be putting in this menu and we'll try and complete it on top of that i also want to finish off the pickaxe upgrade which we started on last episode so that's this thing. I want to get all these different enchants done. I want to see if um, there's a better way I can do haste and these auto sell and speed upgrades. Otherwise I might just end up deleting the enchants because I don't really like the way you can only left and you can only upgrade at once. So what we're doing here on our notepad is we are going to be creating the plugin as I said. So let's just start with a basic shell and we'll mimic the command below so you can see everything that's happening. So this is our new shop. Uh, the menu title, we'll call it um, shop, for example. Um, the open command, so the command that we use to um, open this menu, we'll call it um, shop. Let me just check that there's no commands already that have slash shop. So yeah, there is a default one here. So let's just call it slash shop two. Um, the size is gonna be 27, so three layers thick. And then the items will be such. So that's the command, it's all done, it looks all good. I'll save it. And then what I can do is transfer the file back into my server, and that should run pretty quickly. And then I'll get a notification. That should be done. Now what we can do is we can deluxe menus, reload. So that has reloaded all the plugins. Now what I can do is I can type slash shop two and boom, character, teleporter, wiki help and shop. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to add some color to the text. So if we come back here and we'll change the menu tile to the name of the server, which is Athos, and then we will do help. So if you want to learn your color codes, a good way to do it is if you download the kit, if you download the plugin essentials, which you use in basically any plugin, there is a default book, it's called kit color, and these are the color codes for each of the different colors. Slash shop two, and there we go. Dark green, Character, teleporter, wiki help, shop. But of course, this is just a blank thing. All right, so I've been working on the menu for a day now, and I'm just gonna show you what I managed to end up doing. All right, so after showing you the development process in the notepad, you can kind of see that what I'm doing becomes repetitive. So I ended up just doing everything myself, and I'm gonna show you what progress I've made after one day worth of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type slash menu, which is the main command. And then that'll pull up this thing that we worked on. So we got our character, teleporter, wiki slash help, and shop. And so the main thing I was focusing on today is the character tab. So when we click character, we're greeted with eight different options or seven different options plus a back. I was able to link everything together so we can go here and then back, here and then back. So the first thing I've set up is my vaults. Vaults are 
like private storage systems for players or like ender chests for examples so when you become a hero rank which is the donator rank you'll get access to three vaults and that same goes for all the donation ranks so that's vaults so you got three different vaults or we can click back the next thing is pets um, I haven't found a pet plugin that works for me yet so I'm still looking into that um, the next thing is trails trails is a fun little one I've set up 15 different trails five for each rank so we've got our hero trails legend trails and immortal trails all you have to do is basically click on the trailer you want to select and then when you run around you can see that you have a little trail on your feet and then we can turn off our trail if we want or we can click return this brings us back to the character menu and from there we've got disguises put a disguise on now the plugin i use for disguise is called libs disguises um, so if you do slash this you can see here that there are a lot of different animals and entities to choose from and even so what we can do is we can like disguise ourselves as a pig for example and then we can disguise ourselves as a pig baby as well so there's just a whole bunch of different options that you can do and i wasn't really too sure which ones to pick anyway so if i go back to the command i built slash disguises uh, you can see i've chosen just a few and that is for the immortal rank which is the last one um, so i've got panda because let's be real pandas are the cutest we've got squid b bees are pretty cool look at that and then we've got salmon just a fish i don't know something unique about that and then last i got the armor stand it's just a, a walking armor stand one of the other things you can do which is cool is i can get a random block like a piece of stone and i can type slash hat and then boom i've got a stone on my head um, i set up the chat colors so we can change our colors of chat this is a donated perk or staff perk but basically the default chat color is white and we've got yellow for hero pink for legend and orange for immortal so if you are the immortal rank you can change your color to orange pink or yellow or back to white and then we also have the staff options for the staff ranks so there's helper mod and admin so if you're a helper for example you can change your color to blue or default or any of these and just like that hello you can see now that the text is blue which i think is cool or we can change it to red and you can see the chat color is red the last thing i worked on is the statistics i haven't set up all the statistics yet but i've just got the general guide um, so this is what it looks like we have 15 different core statistics we also have your username and then the back button um, so the stats we have is cash on hand shards achievements first joined hours played achievements is part of a another plugin that i have to work on so that's a bigger thing um, votes again i need to install votifier jumps i need to get a plugin for that mining level that's part of something else that i need to work on player kills and deaths that's going to be part of a combat logger enchantments that's part of a bigger thing again fish caught kilometers flown and blocks mined and blocks placed that's part of another big thing as well so there's a few other things that i need to work on plugins that need to be installed before i can get all these different statistics done but yeah that's basically what i've worked on today so as i said at the beginning of the episode it is my objective to finish the slash menu command and that is what i ended up completing this week as you guys can see i had to make some cuts to some things and there were some other things i weren't able to figure out but everything that i can do i have done and then there's also some other things that we need to do but that'll be part of a episode in the future just because it's part of a bigger project and i didn't want to really get into that um, 
So the things that I haven't been able to do, I'll show you first. So we type slash menu command. And so one of the things we'll be focusing on next episode is the shop, just because we need to set up a large inventory of things that I want to sell. And I don't want to really get into the prices of that. I don't know what I'm going to be setting it to. Another thing is scrolls and we'll be using scrolls to do enchanting and custom enchanting. The thing with scrolls is that I had to make some changes to how we enchant our pickaxe. So if you see the pickaxe here, I have eliminated all of the um, enchants that I wasn't able to figure out and I've just got the core three, which are efficiency, fortune and unbreaking. And these ones are easy to use. I mean, you just left click, right click and it works every time. The problems with the other ones is that they are not used with the permission or they're not used with the plugin essentials. They're part of the crazy enchantments plugin. And I couldn't figure out how to see what level of enchant or crazy enchant is on a pickaxe. And therefore I couldn't plus one, minus one, any of the levels. The other issue was if you were to use the trench enchant, which we had before, which was 200,000 shards, if you use that, then there's no way for me to prevent a player from reusing it again. So if a player was to accidentally click on it for a second time, it would put the same enchant on the pickaxe and it would remove 200,000 shards from the user's um, inventory. So it was just a, you know, like an accident waiting to happen and I wanted to remove it as soon as possible. Um, we still have all those same enchants on the server, but there'll be a different way to use them. And the way you do that is with the blacksmith, the tinkerer, and the enchanter. So as you can see in my inventory, we have this book here. It's the same trench enchant, or in, it's called blast in this case. So it breaks blocks in a three by three radius. So what you can do is you can use um, mystery crates, or you could get a reward, or you could just trade it or buy it in the auction house. I'm not sure. There'll be lots of ways to get it. But you can see here, we have a blast one book. There is a 21% destroy chance and a 35% success chance. That means there is a 35% chance that when I apply it to the pickaxe, it'll be successful. Otherwise, it won't work. There's also magic dust. And I'm sure you've seen these things on other servers and sometimes they're not really explained properly. But what you can do to a magic dust is this is plus five success rate. So if we apply one of those to this book, it should drop or it should increase to a 40 success rate. So what you do is hover over and click and boom. Now it's a 40% success rate and one of the magics is gone. So I'm just gonna click this a bunch of times. There we go. And now we have a 100% success chance. What you wanna do is you wanna take the book and you wanna apply it to the pickaxe just like we did with the dust. So you can see here we have efficiency nine, unbreaking 10 and you click on that and boom. Now you have efficiency nine, unbreaking 10, blast one. And that's how we'll be putting the enchant onto the pickaxes. There's also a feature in which you can remove the enchant and that's a whole other thing as well. Anyway, let's get into the slash menu command and I will talk you through some of the changes I had to make to it. But ultimately everything is completed so far. So as I said, we've got the block shop, the blocks we have to do at a later date, the scrolls we'll do at a later date. There'll also be an auction house which is just a way for com or players to put their items up for auction and anyone can buy it. I need a plugin for that. That should be an easy setup. Um, and then the donation store, that's just a link to the uh, Minecraft or the server website whenever we set that up. Um, so yeah, let's go through the character menu. So we've got five different options here. I got rid of pets because Pets make the server a bit laggy and I just couldn't find a plugin that I was really happy with. And I also got rid of the achievements because I don't really think there's a point to them. So what we have is the vaults. So we got three vaults as I showed before. Um, the chat color, you can change your color of chat depending on what rank you are. Obviously you have to be a donator rank or staff to use this feature. We also have trails, 15 different trails for each different rank. Disguises, got five different disguises. Um, I can change the eggs with player heads. I might do that in the future. But I'm also pretty happy with just having five of the same mob eggs. Um, we also have stats. So I've got all these different stats that I set up. 
here and then let's go back so that is the character menu the second thing is the teleporter menu and i was able to set this up so we've got all our mines from a to z plus the hero mine and what i did is i just used the um, essentials warps plugin so if we warp to say k that warp does not exist so what we need to do is we just need to set up all the warps so let me go back to the menu so we need to set up our warps from a to z a hero warp a pvp warp enchanter yada 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 everything needs to have a warp and then if we take a look at the notepad so if we open up the teleporter you can see here this is a it has you need to have the permission warp slash a and then you can do a warp to that location so just for example i'll show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign myself a certain rank lp user hurricane 96 parent set track prison d so now for example we are on the d rank and then what else I'm going to do to myself is I'm going to deop myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a warp for warp E, and I'm going to create a warp for warp D. So now we have a warp E that's set and a warp D that's set. I haven't set many warps yet. I've just set A, D, and E. That's why. So now if I deop myself, and I am just a standard player, I should be able to do warp D. Cool. I can also do warp A because there's an inheritance for warp B. I do not have permission to use that warp. It's not until I rank up, like a so. Now I'm rank E, and I can do warp E. Can I go to warp F? No, I can't because one, I don't have permission, and two, it doesn't exist. The next thing I'll show you is the wiki slash help command. So basically all you do is you click this, and then we got a bunch of text that pops up, and you're away from A to Z. We're going to set up a slash guide command which will be like a server tutorial and then i've also plopped my links there as well the way i did that is it just runs a text command so if we go to slash menu here you can see that when you run the slash wiki command it just pumps out all the text like that very simple and i also really like the colors that i've set here so yeah that is our slash menu command it's all set up um a lot of things that we need to do in the next episode can't wait to do that we've got a whole week um, the next thing i want to focus on is the cells I'm not sure whether i'm going to be doing a cell or just a plot world i really don't know uh, there's lots of different things i can do there's lots of things i'm kind of dreading doing because i know it'll be complicated but i mean that's just part of it so yeah if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys next episode